everybody. It's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, today is a special day. I'm doing a collab with Beatrice Brown of Art Obsession Oz. I am going to list her um, video channel link uh, in the description and also in the comments. So please take the time to check her channel out. And thank you, Beatrice, for agreeing to do this collab with me. So we came up with, we're using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, she got to pick the colors and together we picked the type of pour we're going to do. Um, she's very good at split cup pours, straight pours. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful artist. And again, please check out her channel. So let's go over the colors today. Um, we're going to do a two-tone um, base. And the top, I'm going to use the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And on the bottom, I got to choose that color. Um, and I'm going to use the Grayish Blue by Amsterdam. My other colors are what uh, Beatrice picked out, and let's go over those. She picked red, so a cool red, so I picked Arteza Scarlet Red. And she also picked gold, so I did a combination of the uh, Folk Art Treasure Gold, Gold, and Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. Just a combination of those two golds. She said a tad of green, so again, I used a combination of Amsterdam yellowish green and Blick green deep, just to give me a, like a medium green on that. Okay, and my next color, she picked turquoise, and I just went with Blick turquoise, just real simple, Blick turquoise. She also went with yellow, and I picked Blick primary yellow. And she picked purple. I am going with Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, my favorite purple color. And the last one is she picked a navy blue. So I did make up my own navy blue, a combination of Master's Touch Phalo Blue and Amsterdam Lamp Black. I just took that dark blue and I just a little tad of that black just to darken it up a little bit. Pouring medium today, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, um, and I did add just like a half a teaspoon of a combination of 70, 30 uh, Elmer's Glue All water combination. No silicone added, but we are doing a swipe. I'm doing a swipe on the bottom and then some balloon kisses on the top. So my swipe color is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And what I did do is added two uh, drops of the Boom Booster in that Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White to give me some cells. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera, put down my two colors, and I'm going to bring you back and I'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my uh, two layers down. I have my uh, Amsterdam grayish blue on the bottom, my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White on the top. Before we go further, let me show you the consistency of the paint. I did forget to show you that because I did thin with water to get this consistency. And so let's start layering the paints for the swipe on the bottom. I think I will just start with some blue here. This is actually the turquoise. Pardon me, it's the turquoise. Okay. I'm gonna put some green here a little bit more towards the top. some of that navy in there. I 
think this color turned out very pretty. I'm excited to see what uh, B comes up with and how our paintings differ. That's always the fun part of a collaboration. You can use the same paints and the same tight pour, same size canvas, but they do turn out very different. And some of the purple. Put some of that gold in there. Some red. And some of the yellow. And I think that will be all I put on for now and just see how the swipe goes. I have my swipe color here in a little container. And what I'm going to do is take my plastic cards just little plastic cards here and I'm going to dip dip my card in my swipe color which is the artist law flow acrylic white and I'm just going to bring it down and then wipe my card off and I'm going to swipe on the opposite side since I did get some of the swipe color on that side and now I'll wipe both sides off and then redip it Getting a lot of nice cells here. And you don't have to go straight down. As you can see, I'm just giving it some squiggles here. And looks like my last swipe here, maybe. I'll just go over it a little bit more here. Let me get this corner. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just a little bit of tipping here. I'm going to move this paint up a little bit. And over. You can see I didn't mention that I did tape my edges here today on my canvas. What I'm going to do is when my painting is dry, I'm going to take that tape off and I'm going to paint a color around the edge like a little frame. And that's a way you can frame your painting and give it a little extra color finish it off and also I don't have to worry about my edges here today which is also nice and now I'll, I'm going to move this paint back down a little bit just moving it very happy with how this turned out okay and move it back and now I will start to work on the um, balloon kisses but I do want to add some paint here first I'll add a little green And I'm really hoping that this does turn out. I 
and I'm going to add a little yellow. Well, first I'm just going to tip a little bit here. Tip some of that green up. What I'm going to do is use my little palette knife and I'm going to try and make it look like stems a little bit here and there. Move the paint around a little bit. Doesn't hurt to play with your paint. And my negative space will be up at the top. B has done some paintings like this that are just beautiful. Okay. And now I'm going to um, just add some paint here and there for my flowers. Start with a, f a few of these uh, blue flowers and I'm gonna add a little purple to it. Okay, and let's just start. Uh, I'm going to start with my little balloon that has water in it and just see how this goes. And sometimes, if the paint comes back in, you can wait 15 or 20 minutes, come back, let the paint dry up a little bit to uh, do your flowers. Or you can just keep dipping like I'm doing. Whoops. Whoops, made a mess there. Let's see what we can do with that. Slippery balloon. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> I better get another paper towel. Accidents do happen. Just work with it. I think I'll make some flowers down a little bit lower here. And then come up. Purple is very, very pretty. Okay, I'm going to add some more color in here now. See if we can get some, use some red.
I'll try a different balloon here. Let's just try a little red here. And then I may come back and add another color in there. Okay. I'm going to try and add a little bit of the yellow in there now. Okay. See how that works. I think my paint is still a little bit thick here. Some places are better, like that. That's looking really well. That's really pretty as it is. Very pretty. we can do here okay I think we need more color up there so let's try I'm first I'm going to just uh, try and get rid of some of this paint here where I'd like to put my flowers Okay, and I'm going to try the purple again. And let's add some gold this time. and maybe a little bit of the blue. Okay, let's see how that works. Sometimes I do use my finger and I do make like a stem. Just removing a little bit of this paint here to add some more flowers. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to try a little bit of this navy blue just on the bottom of these flowers and let's see what we come up with. And let's go with, mm, let's go with the yellow. Just fun to play with your paint. Okay, see what kind of flowers we can get with this. I think my paint at the top is a little bit thick. And next time I do this, I'll make it a little thinner. And I think a few more red flowers are needed here. So let's see if I need to remove a little more paint here. I don't think so. I think it's starting to, paint is starting to thicken up a little bit here. So we'll make some red flowers. And my cup just did touch here, so I'm just going to make a little flower right there. Okay, then what other colors do we want here? Let's try some purple. Okay, and a little bit of gold on top. I think these flowers look, I would call them fanciful. I do like red and purple together. Okay, I think this is where I will stop. Give it a torch. I may add a few more flowers off camera. And I will get you down for a close up. And we'll be right back. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And off-camera, I did add a few more uh, balloon kisses to add a few more flowers here, as you can see. I've decided to call this painting Whimsical Flowers. And here's the upper left-hand corner. I am happy with how my flowers turned out. And what I did off-camera, too, is I did a few balloon kisses 
down here in my swipe, my swipe colors, just to add a little extra for the eye to see. That the red is so vibrant with that purple. The gold came through lower left hand corner. And we'll take you up here. Again, a lot of the gold came through. A couple of those balloon kisses I did there to bring that navy up. And there's the flowers. It's very busy on the bottom, but whimsical on the top. So pretty in here. Different shades of purple along with that yellow. B, you pick excellent colors. And here is the lower, take you over to the lower right hand corner. And look at these cells in here, just amazing. A couple more balloon kisses and the flowers. And here's the upper right hand corner. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, B, for doing this collaboration with me. And everyone, please check out B's channel. It's Art Obsession Oz, all one word. And again, I will list that in the description and in the comments, along with the channel link, her video link, I should say. And you can just scoot right over there and watch her video also. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't to help my channel grow. I truly appreciate that. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.